whenever we are applying the battery across the conductor then electric field is applied on every charged particle then those charged particles are travel with the constant speed in a specified direction opposite to the electric field now in this case right those electrons are traveling from one end of the conductor to the another end now this is called a b c d right all the electrons or all the charged particles are moving from a b to c d in the time interval t right now for a single electron right the charge of a charge on a single charge carrier single charge carrier right what is the charge only what is the charge on a single charge carrier is q next one right every charged particle will move with a drift speed now the speed of the charged particle speed of the charged particle that is called vd right now in the time interval t all the charged particles are moving ab to cd all the charged particles are traveling a distance l therefore every charged particle right is traveling with the speed vd from one end to another end in the time interval t already we know that right speed is equals to speed is equals to speed is equals to distance by time here what is the speed drift speed vd is equals to right whenever every electron every charged particle is traveling with the speed what is the length traveled what is the distance traveled l is the distance traveled l by what is the time interval t is the time interval therefore from this one l is equals to vd into t therefore this is called first equation next one now next one what is the volume occupied by what is the volume occupied by conductor volume of the conductor volume of the conductor right volume of the conductor area into length already we know that area right length what is the length that is vd into t that implies that equals to right that implies volume is equals to right a v d t therefore a v d t therefore this is called second conductor what is the length of the conductor v d into t what is the volume of the conductor that is a into v d into t what is a cross sectional area this is the time to travel from one end to another right vd what is the vd drift speed drift velocity now next one therefore in the volume of the conductor how many number of charge carriers therefore number of charge carriers number of charge carriers number of charge carriers right how many number of charge carriers total number of charge carriers is equals to right number of charge carriers is equals to electron density electron density into that is volume what is the electron density that is n what is the volume a vd t 
therefore total number of electrons is equals to na vd into t this is called the third equation for understanding purpose in 1 meter cube how many electrons n that is called electron density for 2 meter cube how many number of electrons 2n for 3 meter cube volume how many number of electrons 3n for a v d t meter cube how many number of electrons a v d t into n see right electron density is n number of electrons in a unit volume number of electrons in a 1 meter cube volume for 1 meter cube n number of electrons for 2 meter cube 2n number of electrons for 3 meter cube 3n number of electrons what is the volume here a v d t for a v d t volume for a v d t meter cube volume how many number of electrons how many number of charge carriers that equals to a v d t n therefore number of charge carriers is equals to number of charge carriers number of charge carriers is equals to n a v d t next one now total charge in a conductor total charge in a conductor right total charge right single charge for one charge for one charged particle what is the charge q for two charges 2q for three charges 3q charge right for for right n a v d t charges for n a v d t charges what is the total charge n a v d that is charges that equals to that is into q or otherwise number of charge carriers are represented by capital n number of charge carriers are represented by n right number of charge carriers are represented by n what is the expression for n n a v d t right for one charge q for two charges 2q for three charges 3q for n charges what is the charge total charge nq therefore the total charge in a conductor is equal to what to say n into q therefore what is n value n a v d t into that is q therefore the total charge is represented by what to say q now here in this case according to the definition of current according to the definition of current that is current is equals to total charge by total time that implies i is equals to total charge is equals to n a v d into t by q by t therefore t t gets cancelled that implies i is equals to n a v d into q therefore that is v d is equals to i by n a that is q this is the expression for drift velocity now let us consider a conductor let us consider a conductor of cross sectional area a of length l of electron density n right to move the charges in a particular direction you want to apply a battery because of the battery there is a potential difference because of potential difference every charge carrier experiences the force because of collisions of charge carriers with the ionic lattice they will travel with the constant speed instead of increasing speed that constant speed is called drift speed here in this case one charged particle charge is q 
one charged particle charges q now in the time interval t the total charges are moving from one end to another end the total charges are moving from one end to another end according to the current definition the total charge you want to calculate it should be divided by the time then you are going to get the current now here in this case what is the electron density n what is the charge on a single charge carrier q every charged particle travel with a constant speed that is vd therefore for a single charge right that single charge has to cross from one end to other end with a drift speed vd in the time interval t it has to travel l distance therefore speed is equals to distance by time here the drift speed vd vd is equals to l by time uh, right on cross multiplication l is equals to vd into t now what is the volume of the conductor volume is equals to area into length what is the area a what is the length of the conductor vd into t what is the volume of the conductor that is a vd into t therefore first of all number of charge carriers how many number of charge carriers are there number of charge carriers it is represented by n number of charge carriers is equals to electron density into volume what is the electron density n what is the volume that is n a v d into t therefore total number of charge carriers n is equals to n a v d t now next one if you know the number of charge carriers only number of charge carriers what is the total charge what is the total charge number of charge carriers multiplied by the charge of each electron the charge of each charge carrier that is n into q what is n n a v d into t therefore small what is small q the charges of a single charge carrier that may be electron therefore current is equals to q by t what is the total charge that n a v d t into q divided by time t t gets cancel i is equals to n a v d into q therefore vd is equals to i by n a q here the drift velocity the drift speed is directly proportional to current therefore the drift speed is inversely proportional to electron density the drift speed is inversely proportional to cross sectional area the drift speed is inversely proportional to charge